ultimately it's the total number of calories you're eating. Now, regardless of what direction you go to get there, whether it's a specific type of diet, are you plant-based, are you carnivore, are you, you know, intermittent fasting, are you time restrict feeding? Um, it's ultimately going to be around calories. If you are like the, the average normal American and, you know, you want to lose weight and mainly you want to lose body fat. You don't necessarily just want to lose a ton of weight and lose muscle mass. So if you understand, you know, hey, what is the appropriate caloric range for me to eat and now figure out how do I layer that into my day? Now, some people find it difficult to stick to an ad libitum feeding plan where it's like, hey, you don't have to intermittent fast if you just eat your total calories within this window, you know, breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, or whatever it is. Some people are just like, hey, I just, if I have more defined parameters, it's easier for me to stick to. And that's where the benefit of something like intermittent fasting comes in. It's not like fasting in and of itself is the greatest thing. It's the caloric deficit and the consistency of staying in that while, you know, sleeping well, not being overly stressed, not killing yourself in the gym, having recovery days. That's what drives adaptation for people to get healthier, get stronger, lose body fat. Now, if you need parameters like, hey, I'm going to first meals at 10, last meals at six or first meals at 12, last meals at eight, and that helps you stick with it, then that's great. 